Uh, hello, everyone. A very welcome to the first webinar of uh, Nordic Innovation House and the Hong Kong Inc. The Hong Kong Inc. comprises of Invest Hong Kong, Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, HKSCP, and Cyberport. So, um, Nordic Innovation House, for you who don't know, I am uh, from uh, representing all five countries from the Northern. And um, uh, Nordic Innovation House is owned by Nordic Innovation, who, who in turn is supported by the Nordic Council of Ministers. And uh, in Hong Kong, we, ha we, um, we have different, uh, we have five uh, different houses in the world. And the Hong Kong house is dealing with Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, and with Hong Kong Inc's help, we'll take on the rest of China and also with the good news nowadays, maybe the rest of Asia too. Let's see how it goes. Um, so today we are kicking off the Hong Kong FinTech Week and um, welcome all Nordic uh, startup, scale up and growth company to take a part in this fantastic ride. And I will let the Hong Kong Inc present why Hong Kong and why Hong Kong FinTech Week and starting with a King Leung from Invest Hong Kong. King, the mic is yours. Oh, by the way, I forgot one little thing. If you have questions, we do it in the Nordic way. Just fire on, because they, they can take the questions during the presentation, or you can uh, post your questions on the chat, or, and then we have, uh, five, we have five, 10 minutes a Q and A by the end of the uh, presentation. So, sorry, King, yours. Okay, thank you so much, Ben. Now, first of all, I just want to welcome the, all of you particularly the folks from the Nordic countries in joining these uh, events for us to share with you about uh, what Hong Kong has to offer in the fintech space. Now, I think to begin with, obviously a lot of you uh, who are in the fintech space, you will notice that there's just a lot of activities going on. The question is, why Hong Kong among all places uh, on the planet? Now, at the end of the day, uh, when we look at uh, fintech, purely just look at the numbers that we gather in Hong Kong, actually, 66% of the fintech companies in Hong Kong are engaging in B2B opportunities. Now, if B2B is the place that the companies decide to basically unleash the potential to try to grab market share and so on, so why Hong Kong? Well, this slide basically tells it all. When you look at uh, the numbers in terms of market sizing uh, across the board, right, from asset management to banking, the insurance, the insurance side, SMEs, actually Hong Kong, given it's only a city, you know, the breadth and depth of financial institutions is just enormous. So as a result, there's just a lot of financial institutions for you to sell to if you're engaging in B2B fintech. Now, at the same time, because Hong Kong has traditionally been a major trading hub, as well as a financial center. So there's enormous cross-border transactions. So payments, remittances, so things like that, that make Hong Kong an enormous opportunity for companies in fintech that engage in cross-border business. Now, of course, I think besides the business opportunities, uh, which lay in very fertile soil, the tax is also another aspect that, <laughs> honestly, for those of us who have been living in Hong Kong for a long time, we take for granted. Actually, we look at the Hong Kong compared with some of the other major the regional markets. You will notice that actually the Hong Kong tax rates when you aggregate you know, the corporate, the personal, the VAT, Hong Kong is by far the most competitive from a low tax regime perspective. So this is another reason why you know, companies decide to choose Hong Kong as a base. Now, uh, you may have heard of this uh, term GBA, the Greater Bay Area, in which my, I'm sure my colleagues from uh, Southport and Science Park will have more to share with you. Now, this is basically an enormous, gigantic sandbox now, so for, for those of you who have been following a lot of the media coverage, you might have noticed that uh, China has been opening up the financial sector. And obviously, the, the, the leadership in Beijing would like to do it in a more prudent and control, and uh, I guess a more cautious way. So that's why uh, they take a more step-by-step -step approach. So therefore, the GBA, which is the southern part of China, is seen and positioned as like a mega sandbox so that uh, a lot of the, I would say, opening up of uh, financial products to the uh, mainland Chinese customers would be opening up in a gradual manner. And Hong Kong being the international arm of that GBA family, we are the ones that have a very rich collection of international financial products from wealth management to insurance and so forth. So essentially, uh, we are having this GBA market as a way to open up 
gradually the different sectors, as I just mentioned. So when we look at the pure population and also the GDP, that presents an enormous opportunity for both B2C and B2B. Now, another aspect that Hong Kong is very attractive that I think some of you might have uh, not noticed is that you now besides the IPO market in which Hong Kong has been ranked number one IPO market in the past seven years, well, for the past 12 years, Hong Kong was ranked number one in seven of the 12, past 12 years. Now, on top of that, we look at the private capital from the like the pre-A, series A, series B and so forth. Actually, Hong Kong presents the second largest fund pool in Asia Pacific, which is something that people do not notice. The reason is, is that the reason why a lot of times when people ask us, well, in just one phrase, how do you, how do you describe the Hong Kong market uh, for FinTech? And we will tell you that Hong Kong is a fabulous scaled up hub for you. Now, the reason why we want to emphasize scaled up is because a lot of funding size that Hong Kong is strong at is actually at a later stage. Of course, we got you know, investors in the early stage, but then in terms of the big ticket, the big money, you know, the Series B, Series C, pre-IPO, we have a very strong capital base uh, in the form of uh, some late stage VCs and the PEs. So as a result, that puts Hong Kong right at the top of the league, league table, if you will, for private capital in, in Asia Pacific. Now, um, so when we look at the, um, I would say the other aspects that uh, many, many of the overseas uh, friends uh, often inquire about. So what exactly would the Hong Kong government offer uh, to help the companies to, to land and expand from Hong Kong? Now, without going into a lot of details, we have lots of different subsidies uh, offered by the Hong government. And some of them are administered by our friends at Southern Port and Science Park, in which my colleagues will explain in more detail. At the end of the day, it's fair to say that it covers the whole gamut, right? From the setup, the incubation, R&D, hiring, business development, overseas expansion. It's a, it's a mouthful. Now, if you really want to convert it numerically, actually, we're talking about roughly, if you apply to all of them, you got approved of all the subsidies, it adds up to 25 million Hong Kong dollars. It works out to be roughly 2.5 million euros of subsidies offered by the Hong Kong governments to help you land and expand in the Hong Kong market and beyond. Now, so the, again, for those of you who might not have uh, participated at the Hong Kong FinTech Week, it is a flagship FinTech event in Hong Kong that we are very proud of. So last year in the year 20, uh, 2020, we actually had 1.2 million participants uh, visited us at these uh, great events uh, virtually, 1.2 million, which is something that just literally blew the minds of a lot of folks that we talked to. Now, so this year is uh, going to be held in the first week of November. So for those of you who would like to participate in that week, we highly encourage you to do to do so. Now, we were like, well, it's only uh, what, like April now, November is still sometimes away. Do you have anything offer that can allow us to understand better the Hong Kong environment uh, uh, more closely from a timing standpoint? Well, we have a program for you, and that is the Global Fast Track Delegation uh, Program. Now, at the end of the day, what it is is that we are working very closely with the trade commissioners uh, uh, to basically help your uh, companies from your country in a, in a package that is very affordable so that in a way they can also uh, get access to some of the business matching opportunities that we are offering in terms of and matching with the corporates, with the banks, the insurance companies, even some corporates who are interested to use you know, the FinTech to help their, say, trade finance. Now, at the same time, in this program, we also help to match you with potential investors as a way to sort of like warm up. Now, obviously, as you got warmed up into the Hong Kong environments, so naturally, you also have a chance to meet with our colleagues at Saba Port and Science Park. They also have other resources to help you land and sort out the various needs that you have. So, but again, the faster program is one easy way to get you, it's almost like orientation, okay? Now, um, in case you wonder, so who are some of the, the corporates or investors that you might be able to access? So as you can see from the slide, you see a number of logos and these logos represents you know, both, you know, uh, insurance companies, uh, some, uh, you know, asset managers, uh, consumer bank, and then you got the home site change. We got some investors. 
and some family office uh, and so forth. So it's a pretty interesting representation. So last year was the first year we did it and we had uh, over 30. And this year we're looking at uh, over 50 uh, corporate investor champions to help you uh, to have this orientation, if you will. And again, the program is free of charge. And uh, I think uh, later on we have some timeline to let you know uh, when you can join this program. Now, so again, I won't go into a lot of details, but again, the purpose for all doing all this, the dedication exhibition, the startup support program, these are basically some kind of subsidy uh, programs uh, from the Hong government, uh, basically funded by the uh, Financial Services and Treasury Bureau, which is basically the policy bureau responsible for looking after the financial services sector. So behind those subsidies, those are intended to help you get acquainted to really get yourself familiarized about the Hong Kong environment. Now, so with that, I would like to uh, basically hand it over uh, to my to my colleagues. Um, okay, and then I think uh, Rico, I think you're up next. So a uh, good good friend uh, Rico is going to help you understand other goodies offered by Sadapon. So uh, Rico, up to you. Rico, unmute yourself. We can't hear you. Um, hi, I'm Rico Tangta from Cyberport. And uh, Cyberport Writer is one of the largest writer digital technology hub in Asia. And uh, as of today, we have over 1,600 uh, community members. And over half of it are based in Cyberport. And uh, one third of our community members are non Hong Kong companies. And uh, this is the breakdown of our members. And those are non-Hong Kong based companies. That means, right, if you come to here, that means, right, you have a very diverse, right, I would say, right, uh, population who are working closely with you, right, and also help you out. And uh, come to a very key question about uh, if you are fintech companies, of course, you need to have a very mature ecosystem uh, so that, right, uh, not only you can target uh, uh, your client, also, you can work closely with your, I would say, right, uh, colleagues in this space. And so uh, we have uh, roughly about uh, 374 fintech companies, right, uh, in our ecosystems, as you can see, which is very diverse uh, from virtual bank, virtual insurers, rec tech, digital asset, land tech, pay tech. So uh, this is the area that I would say, right, uh, you can come here and then work closely with our community members. Um, Apart from that, right, uh, so when you come to Hong Kong, you probably right, uh, need some support. And uh, Cyberpower right, uh, offer different kinds of uh, funding schemes uh, from what we call uh, seed run. So uh, you can come here and then apply right, uh, for what we call uh, the Creative Micro Fund, all the way right, uh, to support you right, uh, to overseas and also to mainland market development funds. As you can see, right, uh, this is over 1.1 million Hong Kong, which is equivalent to uh, roughly about 110 thousand euros, but uh, this is not only that, we also set up our own Cyberport macro fund. Uh, we have set aside uh, 200 million right, uh, to invest it into a uh, company right, uh, which has a uh, high potential. Uh, we have uh, invested into over 15 projects right, uh, in the past few years time. And uh, apart from uh, what we call uh, a market mentioned by King Law, uh, by King right, uh, we have a very mature financial industry. And uh, we also have a funding program Apart from that, right, uh, we also uh, set up, I would say, what we call uh, the support networks, including enterprise, who were uh, through us, right, uh, to look for a solution. We also have uh, investor networks to help you, right, uh, to, I would say, right, uh, to meet your early stage uh, finance, I would say, capital needs, all the way, right, uh, to what we call the uh, professional service networks. This is right, a very robust uh, ecosystem to help you to develop, right, uh, your business, right, uh, in Hong Kong and also uh, to the GBA. And, uh, Apart from capital, right, one thing we quite important is right, you need to, I would say, right, uh, uh, fund partners who can help you right, uh, to assess right, uh, to different stakeholders. And Cyberport has been engaging right, uh, with uh, different financial industry associations. And these are all the examples right, uh, from last year to now. We have arranged right, uh, RECTEC and also to Wealth Tech Demo Days uh, with the key partners in Hong Kong, and uh, including regulators. And uh, this is uh, some of the examples right, uh, we can help you right, uh, to reach to your potential clients in Hong Kong. 
And uh, this is right, uh, another example. How Cyberport Rica can assist right, uh, our existing right, uh, incubators right, in the last couple of years uh, to expand outside Hong Kong. As you can see the numbers, which is quite impressive. Over 225 right, uh, our incubators right, uh, expand to over 30 overseas markets through Cyberport. And also uh, 30 of them right, uh, are able to go into the uh, GBA, which is right, uh, one of the most promising area uh, in future. And uh, support writer has been one of the very important writer, fintech writer, stakeholders in Hong Kong. So uh, we have been helping writer, the Hong Kong government writer to manage three very important programs. If you have uh, already writer, registered in Hong Kong, you have a very, I would say, writer, uh, I would say writer, innovative technologies writer, then we will be here to help you writer, to connect to our proof of concept uh, schemes, which is writer, a scheme uh, funded by government to help you right, uh, to get some financial support when you deploy solutions right, uh, to the banks, asset managers, and also to security firms. And uh, we also run uh, FinTech training right, uh, for the uh, industry. And last but not least, right, uh, we also provide right, uh, uh, headcount under the scheme right, uh, called the FAST. And you'll be able to, I would say, right, uh, to recruit one new headcount under the sponsorship of Carbon, uh, which is right, uh, in total and uh, you may be able to get right, uh, over 120,000 Hong Kong in a 12 months time. And uh, I'm going to write uh, on pass right, uh, the, uh, the session right, uh, to my, uh, to my uh, colleague, right, uh, Michael from uh, Science Park. So if you have any question, right, uh, please feel free right, uh, to send me an email. We are here to help you right, uh, to learn in Hong Kong, a very exciting market. Michael, over to you. Thank you. Uh, let me try to share the screen. Okay, so uh, Hong Kong is another uh, member of the Hong Kong Inc. Uh, we are part of the Hong, uh, US Hong Kong and of course Cyberport. Uh, Cyberport is located in the island side and we are at the new territory side. So uh, we are just partners. So uh, quick introduction of Hong Kong Science Project. Uh, we, we are huge. So we have right now 14,000 people right now in our campus, over uh, 1,000 companies, uh, we have a very strict requirement on uh, local startups located in Hong Kong Science Park. They have at least 50% of our workforce doing R&D. So right now in Hong Kong Science Park in our campus, we have 9,000 uh, people doing R&D right now. We have two either grown uh, from Hong Kong Science Park, the Science Time, the AI company, and Nana Move, the logistics company. We have a uh, very similar structure, like Cyberpol, uh, providing the full-scale startup support program from the step, uh, which is incubation and then GA, which uh, I will introduce more about GA later, and app IncuTech and IncuBio. For fintech company, usually we will introduce them to an IncuTech program, which is a three years program. We have about a one uh, million Hong Kong dollars subsidy uh, over. Uh, the office space, the technical support, the marketing support, and business support. Other than that, we have the LEAP program, which is a post-incubation stage, a mature company for them that is called the LEAP program. So uh, for the LEAP program, we right now have 40 members, 40 members. Uh, most of them are, are have a uh, valuation close to a central or close to a unicorn. So uh, GAA program is something you need from Hong Kong Science Park about uh, pushing our solution into the market. We have a very strong belief that uh, for your solution to go into the market, we should not push your program, uh, push your solution, but actually pull the market to you. So we go to the industry to try to extract the demand of innovation to really understand what they want to buy from the market to solve their problem. With their problem in eight different verticals, uh, travel and hospitality, we will say construction, finance and insurance, which FinTech should be in the finance and insurance vertical. Uh, we will have their problem statement ready in our website. Uh, we will do global matching. We will do accelerator, try to help you guys to have a pitching opportunity to the enterprise. That's how we do in the Global Accession Academy. Uh, in Hong Kong Science Park, we have two main support for our members. One is go to market for GAA, and another one is investment for our investment team. 
Uh, also, I want to mention that we Hong Kong Science Park also has an investment arm. We can uh, invest in company from one million Hong Kong dollars to five million Hong Kong dollars. The next, uh, more information about GAA Global Accession Academy. We uh, so far in four years we have done twenty four cohorts supporting ninety different corporate members. We received the over six hundred proposal. Uh, we support them, uh, over 100 startups lending their program, lending their solution into the corporates. Uh, some of the uh, key partners you can see that behind is uh, more Hennessy for the consumer vertical, and right now we are running BFSI project. Some more information about BFSI. Uh, you can see some logos uh, of the BFSI banking, financial service, and insurance partners in Hong Kong, including the fee issue, uh, not issuing uh, a bank, a BUC, HSBC, and Senate Charter. We extract more than 100 problem statements from them to understand that what do they want to buy. Uh, we understand that right now they want to buy any solution that can help them to go paperless, any solution that can help them to uh, improve the Michael, I don't know if it's only me, but uh, you are stuck. Is it only me? Um, can you hear him? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, okay. I cannot, I cannot hear Michael. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, when should I restart? Or uh, is it okay? Good. So I will start from this page. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me just restart from this page. Sorry for the uh, internet connection. So uh, as I mentioned, GAA tried to break the, uh, break the whole ecosystem into eight different verticals. One of the key verticals this year for Hong Kong Science Park is BFSI, Banking, Financial Service and Insurance. Uh, we have already collected a, a whole scenario of, of our partners including the fee not issuing bank in Hong Kong, the BOC, HSBC, and You can also see some uh, insurance partner, some we insurance partner virtual bank uh, based in Hong Kong or based in GBA. So we extracted the problem statement, uh, what they actually want to buy from the market to solve which problem that they have. Uh, some key or some example is that they, they want to uh, digitalize their uh, business as usual operation, like uh, how to approve a loan, how to uh, monitor the staff, how to go paperless, et cetera. Another direction is that they want to see any uh, wealth management solution. Of course, red tech is also a very hit topic uh, in Hong Kong. They are very familiar with solution and technology all over the world, but they are looking forward to have them localized in Hong Kong for their use. Our corporate partners include those in Hong Kong and GBA. So we are really looking forward to have your solution coming into Hong Kong through Hong Kong Science Park or Cyberpro. Uh, of course, with the help of US Hong Kong. So we have other industrial partners you can see below, including Cafe Pacific. application period. I'm um, sorry to do that, but uh, you have another one coming forward in May. We are doing the Global Metering 2021 uh, in May. We are right now in the application period. So if you have, uh, you want to try uh, your solution pitching to our enterprise partner, just submit your proposal to us. Uh, as the, the member of Hong Kong Inc., we will not charge you any application fee or success fee. Just feel free to submit your proposal fee of charge through our website. When there are 
corporates that are interested in your solution, we will connect them to you directly virtually. Push the market, CI stands for corporate innovation. We believe that uh, what we are trying to do is to pull the market to you, not push you to the market. Uh, and after that, uh, we have the Epic, uh, which will be the same week of uh, the, uh, the Epic stand for Elevator Pitch Competition. So you will, uh, I hope the COVID-19 situation is getting better. So you will have the chance to go into the elevator with the investor for one minute. In that one minute, the elevator will actually go from uh, ground zero to 104. Uh, in that one minute, you have the chance to pitch your, uh, your solution or your company uh, to win that uh, over uh, 100,000 USD for the price. Uh, hope to see you in the FinTech Week and of course in the Epic. That's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, contact me or full uh, US Hong Kong. Thank you. I will stop sharing that now. Great. Right. <clears throat> now, so um, again, has been uh, an overwhelming amount of information for all of you uh, who have uh, been hearing from us. Now, at the end of the day, there's just so much resources uh, from the Hong Kong Inc. Again, our, our brothers. So I think you know one way that you can uh, um, try to make your life a bit easier is that uh, you can feel free to contact us because we actually have colleagues uh, uh, at in the Nordics so that they can speak your language and also they work in the time zone. So typically, our colleagues over there can be your first point of contact. And then once we understand your needs. We can also uh, uh, refer you to our, our friends at you know, Science Park as our port, all the other uh, responsible the departments for various resources, from subsidies to funding, to connection to potential clients, talking to regulators and so on. Now, so um, again, it's just a lot of information that we understand. Okay, so at the end of the day, when you look at uh, where you should start, now as our, as our colleagues, uh, you know, Rico and Michael mentioned, uh, there are several segments that are gaining quite a lot of traction uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, and if I have to pick among the nine that you see here, uh, definitely I think insurance, insure tech is quite hot uh, lately. Uh, Red tech is another one that uh, both, uh, again, uh, Singapore and Science Park are putting quite a lot, a lot of resources into it. Uh, so that's why the, if you are in any of these uh, segments, particularly in insure tech, Red tech, uh, come talk to us and chances are we have uh, some resources to help you out. Now, um, as I just mentioned, uh, again, there are different programs uh, offered by the different organizations. So in a way you can see this uh, basically global fast track program as a way to warm up about the Hong Kong ecosystem. Because now, for example, you know, the, the program that, that Michael just mentioned, because the Science Park, I mean, as the name uh, basically alludes to, Science Park is a fabulous place. If you have some deep tech components that are able to solve some uh, really hardcore issues faced by the financial institutions. Now, but at the same time, there are some companies uh, that uh, are offering some off-the-shelf off the solutions for the, I would say the smaller, you know, let's say mid-tier banks, or mid-tier insurance companies, or even mid-tier securities firms or brokers. So those are the ones that, again, uh, may not have very sort of like deep technology elements, but at the same time, there are also some demand in Hong Kong. So that's why the, the, the positioning of the fast track program is a way for you to have a, like an easier entry to understand the market. So if you're interested, then you can join us in June, in which uh, the application will open in June time. And then the pitching, as you can see this timetable in the September timeframe, and then uh, I think the, the winners, if you will, uh, are being featured at our flagship events at Hong Kong FinTech Week. And last year, uh, as I mentioned, we had like 1.2 million participants. And these are not even consumers. These are all B2B people okay, attending from uh, different countries, of course, locally as well. So this is a very good place for you to gain exposure okay, to the potential uh, FinTech clients. Now, and, and with that, I just want to uh, leave you with uh, some contact information of the, the few uh, key people that you all uh, see today. 
and some of our colleagues in the Nordics. Of course, you can also contact uh, Bin, which is a, a great part of ours. Uh, so again, this is probably a good time for us to pause. And we'd like to leave some time you know, for the audience to ask some questions so that we can be, I guess, more relevant to address your, your, your needs. Okay. Oh, wow, thank you very much. See, it's much better for the Hong Kong Inc. to present Hong Kong than me presenting the Hong Kong. It's a big difference. That is a lot of information, even though I've been here for a while, for 10 years already now, still new information that I don't know about. That uh, one of the things that I didn't know about until recently is like uh, Michael's hut, the HKSTP. Uh, they are building a new facility very close to the border to uh, Shenzhen. I think one of the idea is to make it easier to cross border. The day with the pandemic is a little bit easier to make us cross the border. So that would be another big uh, facility there to, who's going to host us and help uh, all kind of uh, innovation companies, tech companies that want to join the Hong Kong Inc. family and take on. Uh, China and the rest of Asia. And um, yeah. Someone like further questions? Because it seems like it's only me and the Hong Kong Inc. talking. So one of the questions I have here is, would it be possible to present to get the presentation? Yes. Uh, we will send you, um, everyone who is participating, a uh, thank you email later. And with that, there will be a link to this webinar and um, a recorded webinar and also the presentation from all three um, presenters. Uh, and um, it's very quiet from the Nordic side. I don't recognize you guys. Thank you. We can have a company planning to bring the FinTech solution, fin, find basic and up-to-date analyze in the market deeply. It's from Andrea. So is that a question? Can a company planning to bring their fintech solution find basic and up to date to analyze the market deeply? Is that um, King? Question to you. Uh, sure. Well, again, I, I'm sure that Rico and Michael have other comments as well. Now, uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, looked at quite a lot of uh, fintech studies you know, conducted by uh, consulting firms like Accenture, you know, the big four. You know the BCG, uh, even universities in Hong Kong. Now I've read uh, almost you know, most of. Them, okay, now if you're looking for those kind of papers, uh, again, we're happy to send you a few links. Uh, those make very good bedtime reading. Uh, in case you can't get go to sleep, okay. Uh, but realistically, okay, now realistically, now the reports are great, nicely written, rational, beautiful chart, everything. But then, to be honest, I think if you really want to know how your firm can get some traction or not in the Hong Kong market, the best way is to talk to potential clients, right? I mean, the report is just a report, right? It's just, you know, it's just something on paper, you look at it, I, 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 I can already tell you, you look at the numbers, the numbers will blow you away, okay? The, the opportunities are just enormous. So for example, if you are in Red Tank, so there's, there was a uh, report released uh, just in the past few months by KPMQ. It was a report commissioned by Hong Kong Monetary Authority, which is the tobacco central bank and banking regulator. So that report focused in red tech. Now, based on that survey, the, the report found that among the different, uh, all the banks in Hong Kong, only one third, one third of the banks are already adopted some kind of red tech. Or oh, just one solution, okay? One third. So that means that two thirds of the financial institutions, actually the banking side, have not adopted any record solution. So that means that there's an enormous uh, opportunity out there. And I can tell you, uh, we haven't seen any latest report yet on the insurance side, but then we, we can tell you this as we talk to a lot of stakeholders, the insurance companies are a little bit behind the banking uh, sector in terms of adoption. So there are even more opportunities up for grabs uh, for the insurance sector. So that's why I think the programs offered like by Invest Hong Kong, by, by Science Park, by Science Port, all we are doing are creating different opportunities for you to have face-to-face -face, uh, or via Zoom, with which you cannot travel. It is a face-to-face -face direct context and, and, and conversation with potential clients. And to be honest, 
once you talk to one, two, and three of the potential clients, you already got a feel, a good feel about whether or not your solution can get traction in the local market. So I heard, highly encourage you to, to join us at well, one of our programs that, that we just mentioned. This is the best way to get a pulse for the local market. So again, I'll, I'll, I'll let uh, Rico and my Michael to share their views too. Okay, uh, uh, before we go, uh, uh, jump in for the cyberpod uh, command, let me just do the Hong Kong science part one. Uh, you want to understand the Hong Kong BFSI market, it's not easy to just uh, I give you the answer because it, it, it may not uh, tailor made for you. Uh, as things just mentioned, that there are many studies that are good for better meeting. And if you want to do it in a video way, actually, we can share you some of the recordings we made with our uh, partners. Uh, I will share the information to Lottie House and the Lottie House can share to you guys. And uh, we have recorded 200 minutes of interview with our BFSR partners. They will uh, they share the, what they want to buy and what they want to get from the market. Uh, I believe that, they, that those may help you to understand more about what we are doing in Hong Kong. Uh, other than that, uh, we, we should have some webinars and, and seminars regularly running by Invest Hong Kong, Hong Kong Science Fair and Cyberpol. Uh, we may be able to keep you updated about all our webinars so you, you can uh, be in touch with us. But uh, honestly, the best way is the way that uh, Kim just mentioned. Just submit your proposal to try our market. You can see that if your solution is good enough, we are the channel for you to actually touch the market. Uh, that's the best way, I believe. So, Rico, uh, sorry, uh, Michael, uh, she continued here to say that uh, the solution that Andrea is bringing is re re related to retirement savings. So the, they want information about population, phone use, and general marketing info. Do we have this kind of info that we can just send her or? Um... Um, let me uh, try to answer the question. Um, I think uh, what I would suggest you to do is right, uh, to visit uh, the Hong Kong government website uh, because right, uh, we do a regular right, uh, uh, statistics and also it's a survey to the whole Hong Kong population. And uh, I believe that right, uh, you'll be able to get all the data and also information for you right, uh, to size the market. Shouldn't be difficult at all. And uh, another organization will be useful for you is uh, what we call uh, the MPFA. Uh, because right, in Hong Kong, uh, we do have uh, a mandatory partner fund, and, uh, which is also one of the regulators in Hong Kong. So uh, they could be able to help you right, uh, to understand right, uh, the full picture uh, of the Hong Kong, I would say, right, uh, not only workforce, but also the need uh, of uh, the retirement uh, support. So that's why right, uh, we set up right, uh, the MPFA, okay? So guys from the Nordics, if you have question, just unmute yourself and ask. I'll continue to write uh, on the chat box and we'll pick it up. And uh, just to summarize what some of the things that King uh, brought up, he's, King says only April and the FinTech week is in November. But being uh, from the Nordic Innovation House side, where I've been working like the last, I've been through two different FinTech weeks and the time goes like that. And it takes time to plan, understand all the things that FinTech week offer. FinTech week is only one week, but everything leading up to FinTech week, uh, it's more. Uh, during the presentation, you've heard uh, uh, things like the fast track program who open in June and close in certain times and then um, and so on. And then you also heard uh, Science Park uh, CI and uh, Epic, the elevator pitch. Elevator pitch is a very interesting pitching. I think there have been five, six fintech, uh, not a fintech company going through that program. And everyone said the same thing. It is literally 60 seconds to pitch. You don't have more because you are thrown into an elevator and it's a pling up to the 100th floor and then that's it. And you can win up to 100,000 US dollar in cash price. Uh, and then you also have the GAA program, the global matching program from them and the Cyberport that uh, Rico haven't mentioned yet because it will just be too much information for you guys. Uh, they also have a CVCF. Um, investor and um, yeah, 
um, matchmaking, business matchmaking uh, event together during the FinTech Week, like a side event. Uh, and also not to mention that Alibaba's Jumpstarter also started at the same time. And Alibaba's Jumpstarter cover all sector, but they also have a specific FinTech sector in that program. Having said that, what I mean is there's a lot of uh, the Hong Kong Inc. offer everything from uh, basically idea phase all the way up to pre-IPO. And um, the Hong Kong Science Park, uh, uh, I think um, Michael stopped at the um, LIP program, but for those who can who get into Science Park from every the acceleration program till the LIP program, they have one final big program that is only by invitation called the Elite program, and they will take you all the way to IPO status. So it's after you become a unicorn, you still can get help from Hong Kong Inc. So basically, um, the financial resources is abundance. It's a lot of um, different kind. And um, um, King didn't mention that Invest Hong Kong is working with to get up the family offices too. Also tapping into that and help out in case you don't want the big corporations or the uh, or the uh, um, uh, big uh, things. You still have a smaller venture capital family offices and so on. So basically, Nordic Innovation House together with Hong Kong Inc. is here to help you to get uh, what you needed. So put it this way, let us know what is that you need. And the Hong Kong Innovation House, I'm here to help all the Nordic tech startups, growth companies and scalers to tap into the Hong Kong market and then continue to bring you cross border to uh, Greater Bay Area. That is our main focus first, but then of course, uh, the Nordic Innovation uh, Group, they also have like Business Finland, Business Sweden, Innovation Norway, Innovation Center Denmark, and Business Iceland. We, are, we cover Beijing, Shanghai, and the rest of China from the Nordic side. And I'm sure that uh, I see the king is nodding and saying, yeah, we can cover that too, Bean. So I know, I know. I know we can cover that too. <laughs> but the Nordic also have um, offices and uh, teams in different places of China that can you take you further. So um, we are going to, uh, there's a lot of information. So what the, what the house is doing right now is compile a full deck with sales information, marketing information from Hong Kong Inc. for the FinTech week. And this will be handed out. Um, Matt, can you put the information uh, of the um, contact points from the Nordic Innovation House up on the screen, please? So this is the team Hong Kong for now. So uh, again, like um, King said, we uh, Invest Hong Kong have two person who is actually in the Nordic. You have Mats Gerlam and uh, Gert, I say Gert, but I think it is Gert, Hovens, who also can, uh, you can contact directly. They are, uh, Mats is Swedish, we speak Swedish in case you're Swedish, but then English always work. They're both in Gothenburg. Contact them and they will give you more information, detailed information. The things that Matt and Gerd cannot answer, it will go back, pass back to us. And of course, you're super welcome to contact the experts directly. You have uh, King, uh, King Leung and Max Lau, and then you also have Michael and Rico. And then us. Uh, everyone in, in the Hong Kong team will have the full deck of information and all the deadline for everything you should apply. All the programs that Hong Kong Inc. have is free. Having said that, I've seen that the criteria, because it's a competition by the end of the day, it's not always, uh, uh, not all, everyone can get in because it is after all competition. You can win from 100,000 US dollar up to, uh, uh, I think it's 250,000 US dollar in cash price. And then you can also win, um, if you get attention, like the attraction like that, you can also get directly tapped into the um, investment side here where they invest in your company. And during that um, Hong Kong FinTech Week, you also had a full platform to tap in to um, different uh, B2B partners. Like King said, last year during the pandemic with everything, with a very chaotic hybrid format, uh, Hong Kong Inc. managed to get 1.2 million people attending. And most of them are B2B. So it's not like um, B2C, but yeah. So you get the picture. So, um, again, if you have questions, please ask. If not, 
here are your contact points in a respective country. And um, our, our Rolf for Innovation Norway, he's the head of China. So in uh, under the team uh, Innovation Norway China, you will have different contact points uh, with the Norwegian side. Business Sweden, uh, Per Jonsson, he's in Sweden. So you can contact him directly without the problem. Or again, if you have more questions, contact me. Uh, uh, the consulate of Finland, uh, Johanna Karanko, the consul general, she is not the main contact point, but because her person, uh, the, the person who she's supposed to come to Hong Kong, it's still not really finished. So as soon as that person is uh, uh, cleared, then you will have uh, another contact point from the Finnish side. And uh, Iceland just opened, uh, just uh, managed to get Henry Chan as an honorary consul uh, in, uh, for Iceland in Hong Kong. And her, uh, his assistant, Vianna Chan, can also be uh, the contact point for Icelandic companies. And I, as the spider in the web, uh, talk to both the Nordic countries and all the Hong Kong Inc. And believe me, there's a lot of people in Hong Kong Inc. that want to help out. And not even I have managed to sort out who is who. So I'm only talking to, right now, to King and Michael and <laughs> make my life easier and Rico, just to make my life easier. <laughs> so um, please, questions. Nope, it seems it's crystal clear, guys. Great presentation. And, um, and I will say like this, for those who listen in today, organizations, companies, contact us if you have a wish list from your side. I, I know that Fung from FinTech is listening in. Please ask your FinTech um, association in Sweden what they want to know about Hong Kong. Uh, for example, um, King put up a, a, a square of a lot of different like reg tech, um, cybersecurity or whatever. If you think the, uh, your group is interested in a certain area, we will make more webinars. This is just an introduction to what can Hong Kong can offer and why Hong Kong. We are still one of the most important financial hubs in the world. And um, and um, one of my suggestions is to invite for the next webinar for the Nordic uh, stakeholders and the Nordic organizations is to let maybe I, maybe we invite one of the banks and one of their um, insurance company and share what kind of technology they're looking for. If that is interested, stay tuned. If you have a wish list of you, what you want us to bring up in a webinar, let me know and I'll make it happen. So if... Um, Hong Kong Inc., do you have anything more to say before we wrap it up? No. Yes, uh, just a closing the thoughts uh, for the uh, audience. And first of all, I see that quite a lot of folks are still sticking around. So thanks for giving us all your attention. Now, again, putting myself in your shoes, right? You just so much information. If this is the first time that uh, you hear this, you probably have known it has been. It. Now, I think one thing, now, when you think about FinTech, now FinTech is what? is finance, technology, and regulation. And for regulation, it has to be a stable regulatory environment for this to work. Now, forget about Hong Kong for a moment. Just think about looking around the world. If you have to think about a place, okay, the one that you want to plant your flag, there's a strong finance sector that has a very uh, respectable, stable regulatory environment and have a, a reasonably good technology infrastructure and talent base. What would you take? Now, so actually, if you just think about it that way in simple terms, actually, I would be very surprised if you don't somehow shortlist Hong Kong in your top five, top 10 in the whole world, okay? Now, if you want to focus that for Asia, the list is even shorter. So that's why I think when we look at all the programs that uh, we have to offer, it's because it's not so much about all the resources that governments throw at the, the, the companies. It's just that we know there's just a lot of opportunities for us to help the financial institutions to transform themselves so that's why we have all these resources to invite the most capable fintech companies around the world to come to Hong Kong 
to work with us to help our local FIs to transform themselves to make Hong Kong an even more competitive financial center. So I think that's that's uh, where I like to to close. Uh, to again, something I hope to take away with uh, while you are so digesting the information that we will send to you via the PowerPoint and so forth. Martin, Rick Yong, anything else? Oh. I think the last uh, discussion we have, right, we, we mentioned about uh, Nordic is uh, very strong in the uh, green finance, and Hong Kong is also right uh, pushing very hard, right, uh, on the uh, green finance and also uh, the what we call uh, the ESG. So you're also welcome if you have uh, this kind of uh, technology, and so uh, Hong Kong need your support. Okay. Okay. So this is a very, very, very uh, efficient and informative webinar thank you very much guys so for the last word from me is uh please stay tuned the uh, before during april all the um contact points from the nordic side will have a full deck of program presentation deadlines to reach out to you so um uh, i will send out this um pvt so you have all the names and information and also, the second webinar will be coming in beginning of May, I think. We haven't set the date yet. Uh, and I'm still piling information from the Nordic side, see what you are interested in. One of the suggestions I have now is to get the big banks or the, uh, or the insurance company to share uh, their, uh, how they work as a, a one of the biggest players in Hong Kong and what technology they will look, uh, we're looking for. If that is of interest, please let me know. So that's all from me. So thank you very much for giving you time because um, most of the people actually stay the whole presentation. Thank you very much. And thank you, Hong Kong Inc. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.